Greetings everyone. I am career engineer Mujahid Sakar. In this video, we will focus on three lessons we can take from football in terms of career management. Before starting this video, you can support us by liking this video and subscribing our channel. Our priority here is not to talk about football itself. It's the definition of another profession. Our priority is observing changes change in every field, including other arts and cultural brands such as music, basketball, or cinema, and reflecting on how this sheds light on the world of career management. We will probably make separate lesson learning videos for each of these brands in this coming period. Football is the first video of this series. Firstly, players who can play versatile without just staying to one position. False nine, box to box, middle field, etc. Now, the first lesson we will learn on this subject is players who can play versatile in football, no longer depending on the position. Of course, before I explain this, I would like to avoid a misunderstanding, not just these figures. In other words, I'm not making a claim that all players have to play versatile now. Here, are, there are also one-sided players, but on the other hand, we are entering a period where the value of all-round players is increasing. I'm making this reminder for integration with career management, because it's the same in career management. Let's explain this in a few sentences. What was the role distribution of the players in the past? If you are a striker, you focus on scoring. If you are playing pink, you dribble or cross. If you are playing a libero, you pass and pass. The goalkeeper only saves and the defenders prevent the opposing defense. We are now talking about a more homogeneous transition instead of such harsh distinctions. Because if you act with standard measures, your opponent will analyze you and take precautions much more easily. How? For instance, you are a striker. An extra defender will prevent you from scoring a goal. Now, other positions come into play for this. The coach says, yes, you are a striker, but only your job is not to score goals. When appropriate, you will make room for the midfielder, run without the ball, and ensure that the weak players enter the penalty area. Or consider the winger. Making a good cross would be enough for that player, but when the opposing team plays, with a gravel bed, it can render your winger dice function. Therefore, at some moments, you have to stop crossing or dribbling and wait for the ball in the penalty area. Because the game is not just about yourself. You are the link of a chain of 11 people. In fact, not just 11 people, but 18 people. Maybe in the first 60 minutes, you will just dribble and fire or uh, tire the opponent's defense and you will score with the two strikers who enter the game after you. This is called the Tay Shepard model in career management, the Tay Human model. You will know a subject well in depth. You will be very good at that subject, but you must have knowledge in other fields as well, albeit at a certain level. You can sacrifice what you are best and to expand that superficial level of knowledge when needed. That's fine. It used to be that if your one or two features were 10 out of 10, even if your other aspects were zero, currently all are expected to be at least uh, five or six. You don't have to be 10 in your file. You can be eight even if you are. 
because the game is much more homogeneous now. Therefore, file defense and offense were two separate parts. They are now together. Likewise, the two-way midfielders. In the traditional football setup, when you took the ball from the defender and handed it to the quarterback or wingers, you were done. You are now expected to be bidirectional. You give the ball to number 10 again, but you don't come back from there. You are expected to take a position. It's the same with career management. The luxury of saying, I just do this job and go on with my life is gradually disappearing because the growth you can achieve in your own business is limited now. Instead of that, you need to focus on a horizontal career that offers unlimited growth possibilities. So what can you do? For instance, you can broadcast on YouTube, record podcast, open live broadcast on Instagram or produce regular blog content on Medium. Likewise, you can Twitch stream topics related to your department. Social media is one of the most important side parts of this business, but it's possible to develop many byproducts such as social media. One of the biggest reservations here is regarding the qualifications that side jobs look for. For example, a friend of ours says, in my technical work, presentation skills are not required, but YouTube broadcasts are required. Or it's necessary to speak well in live broadcasts, but I cannot speak, so I can't. I think this is the wrong point of view. Yes, good diction on YouTube brings a bonus, but it's not a necessity for you at the first stage. Because it's not your main job, it's your side job. You don't, you don't have to be uh, 10 plus 10 on that subject. Start with uh, 5 slash 10 because our goal is to increase the side parts. If conditions develop over time and require it, you can take courses on diction and improve yourself on this subject. But don't focus on that in the first place. Or you can say, my storytelling is not very really good. I can't write good scripts. I can't edit or edit podcasts uh, at a high level. Believe me, these are not very important either because you have to learn some things on the way. At this point, you can think, instead of wasting my time with these, I can take courses related to my field of expertise and bring my strength to a near perfect level. Yes, this is also a perspective, but there is no end to knowledge. So no matter how hard you try, how hard you try, you will not be one of the most knowledgeable people in your field. Because terabytes of data are produced every second. Now, What's more important than the information itself is to be able to classify and market that information. Of course, I have to go back to the point of the beginning of the conversation. This is not a requirement. Just as football players who focus on a position still continue to play football, you can make a career by focusing only on your own file without dealing with other byproducts, but it's necessary to follow the trends in order to get better. Because when you do, you will see that the work you do has value. Because marketing is a necessity now. People is, people's knowledge or ideas are no longer so unusual. With a little Google or YouTube search, it's very easy to come up with something from scratch in any file. What matters now is how aesthetically you can present that information to people. This is not an illusion or a deception, but to give people information by dressing up. Consider, for example, two strikers. The first is the striker focused on scoring goals. The other is the link player. 
First, he or she will draw attention after almost every goal he she misses because that's his only his or uh, her only job and uh, he or she can't do it either. In this case, the fans will react to the, that player, but we can't we we cannot say uh, the same for the second one so easily. But when the second player misses the goal, he or she will have other ways to defend himself. It's like I made the big player score an empty goal with my ball-free harness. I opened up a space for the winger to make a more comfortable cross. He or she can come up with many excuses for himself. And the second one. Formation is not important. It's important that you can be productive. The second lesson is formation is not important. It's important that you be uh, productive. How was football in the past? There were a lot of formations, like 4-4-2 and 3-5-2 uh, or 4-3-3, etc. You are playing triple diff or sometimes uh, it's like you need to go back to quad defense. New generation coaches develop different systems instead of being stuck in these formations and change them even during the match. For example, he or she can play three sums for the first 15 minutes and then return to fourth. It's the same in career management. You don't necessarily have to do a job related to the department you graduated from. Or since the trend is to produce content on TikTok, you don't need to produce content on TikTok. Moreover, at this point where technology has come, it's not possible for us uh, to do the same things throughout our lives. It's not possible for you to do the same job, produce content for the same site, or maintain anything else for a long time throughout your life. So apart from plan A, we need to focus on developing plans B or C. This is what has brought professions such as innovation specialist, scrum master, agile coach to the fore in the corporate world in recent years. We need other methods. More importantly, we need to learn how we can develop the other methods. Relying on the formation would be a mistake for us. Here again, there may be those to play the devil's advocate. Sir, if I try the same formation throughout my life, do I have no chance of success? Does it necessarily require constant change? You have to you have a chance to be successful, but some flaws will come to the fore throughout your life. Life. You will get throughout problems that you can handle much more easily than you expected. You are constantly criticized by someone as you are good, you are successful, but you are missing these points. For example, Parioli, who works as a trainer in Turkey, is one of the good examples in this regard. He is truly a visionary, a coach with ideals, but the team, Alliance Sport, considers a lot of goals because of his, his insistence of setting up the game from behind. For you, such a situation may occur in career management. Many people may say about you, yes, this person offers a really good method, but it's closed for improvement on these issues, whereas he should fix these things. This will cause you to miss the points you deserve in the long run. In order to prevent this, we need to try new methods because our priority is not to do this job for life, but to be productive. Think of your job or the school you attend as a play doll. You will need to develop new shapes by constantly bending and twisting this play doll. I wonder how can I combine this profession with artificial intelligence? Everyone is talking about ChatGPT these days. How can such a technology be used in our profession? You have to constantly think about such questions and to trial and error. Maybe some or even most 
of these will be irrelevant to your department. After a while, you will say big data is not relevant to our profession at all. But in order to say this, it's, it's necessary to think first, then try and see the results. Maybe you can see all the technologies, trends, and integrate them while researching big data in this process. For example, write a blog post about it. Talk to people about these issues. For, of course, at this point, I have to say the following. The merging of technological advances with your department is not something that gets everyone excited. In other words, companies in your industry will not react by saving. This is an amazing thing you did. Maybe most of them won't even care. But as you take this road and build something, you will get closer to your target audience, recruiters, headhunters, or visionary people in your industry who are interested in these topics will start to discover you in some way. It's the same in football. As you, as a club, you develop new systems and variations. You attract the attention of big clubs. When you get results, this attention process gives results faster. But even if you don't get results, you start to clean the steps in truth. For example, before Negasman turned 30, he started managing a good Bundesliga team like Hoffenheim. At the age of 34, he became the manager of Bayern Mini, one of the biggest clubs in the world. Graham Potter, who became the coach of Chelsea 10 years later while managing the team in the Swedish team, has a similar story. Is there a formation these trainers are obsessed with? No, there is not. They may have come to the fore thanks to some of their strategies. There are some game systems that make them a brand, but these are not just formation expressed in numbers. They have larger frameworks that focus on the game itself and can change those frameworks very quickly when needed. This is what we need in career management. How can we integrate big data, NFT technology, metaverse, with our files. Besides, we are talking about these technologies right now. Maybe five years from now, we will talk about completely different technologies. For this, it's necessary to be constantly on the alert and to take part in different pursuits. And the last one, this is game. This game is director's game nowadays. Our last topic is the game is the game of the coach nowadays. Maybe five or uh, 10 years ago, football players were in the foreground because they were the part that did the job. But this situation is changing. Our priority is career management is should be the one who does, uh, who does the work, not the one do, who does it. This should not be equated with the traditional understanding of patronage. This is a requirement of career 2.0. The big bosses in the corporate world will continue to be cool CEOs, but there is a greater need for three-person micro corporations. And at this point, you are among the candidates to establish such a micro company. This is about mentality rather than financial means. You need to constantly think about these questions. How can I transfer these works at hand to other people? How can I distribute this job to five or 10 people and become their manager? Because management is a phenomenon that is becoming more and more valuable both for developing skill sets and for managing those skill sets. Everyone is talking about NFT technology these days, but how can you combine this technology with your department? Almost. No one can solve this. Or YouTube streams. You can deal with such issues in YouTube broadcasts. Expand your channel in one or two years and distribute your tasks later. From that point on, you can focus on business development, brand collaboration, and focus on graphic design, video editing, etc. You can transfer dimensions to other people. In fact, this is one of the models that new economy wants. 
because more important than producing content, new generation agencies, front journalism studies, etc., that bring two content producers together with the audience, thanks to their successful business models. Of course, I would like to emphasize that point at the beginning of the speech. This trend doesn't diminish the value of the play top players. If we look at career management, it does not diminish the value of the content producer, technical expert. We don't have such strong claims. Statements such as artificial intelligence will finish the job, the job, or uh, this job cannot be done after artificial intelligence are far from reality. It's necessary to avoid saying this so clearly in advance. There are possibilities. What we have to do is plan each of these those possibilities in order to understand the value of coaches, footballers must also be present. This is also true in the career world. A good manager requires a good content producer or a good technical expert. So I respect, respect people whose priority is technical expertise, but our priority at Career Hub Studio is to examine career paths with a futuristic perspective. And being able to distribute your work is one of the most important tools for a career that makes a difference. But on the other hand, as a student or an average recent graduate, it's not possible for us to be the boss and hire people right now. It's a process. So what we need to do now is to design that process. We will work and build a structure ourselves for one or two or three years. And then when the money flows, we will isolate ourselves from that structure and let others to the work. Afterwards, we will train ourselves on talent management and work for maximum performance of these employees and growth of the business. This is how I am going to tell. If you think you are fed by this video, if this video inspired you, you can support us by liking, liking this video and subscribing to our channel. In addition, uh, in addition, you can share all your questions, opinions, suggestions, and thoughts with us in the comments section. See you in the next video, friends. Bye for now.